Behind me is the Roman Tower at Belmont. It was built in 1st century AD, making it almost 2,000 years old. Can you believe it? Just imagine all the history it's witnessed across this valley. I'm just in awe. Life in this town seems to have a slower pace and you can almost imagine all the olives like this one being tended to in the same way that they have been since Roman times. These are the bulemas cooked at home by a lady that sells bulemas here. You've got a nice crust of cinnamon and sugar on the top and then the nice buttery pastry but inside is a jammy apple filling but it has a nice spice of cinnamon. All I need now is a strong black coffee and then I'm good. Castello de Vive is the prettiest little town. These winding alleys are really beautiful, but thanks to the sharp slopes and sharp turns, I'm so grateful that our local specialist is leading the way, otherwise I would definitely get lost. And right at the top of a very steep hill is the oldest part of town, and from here, I have an amazing vista right behind me. This is what I call travelling in style. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love to get out there and walk around, but sometimes it's nice to rest your legs, relax in this comfy coach, and look out at the beautiful Alenteju countryside. Having some free and easy time to myself means I get to indulge in an amazing dinner. Here at Cafe Alenteju, they serve food from the Alenteju region. I had the pork cheeks with potato. It was melting, it was tender, it was so good. With some local wine, I'm so full, belly and soul. But if you want to see what else I get up to here in Portugal, don't forget to catch the rest of my videos.